You hear me say this cue a lot. Arm ball up a little, back a little. So today, I would like to make it as clear as possible what I mean by setting your arm bone up a little, back a little, in close up. To begin any upper body work, any shoulder exercises, it will be very helpful to set your arm bone in the shoulder socket. Two thirds of your arm bone is exposed in the shoulder joint, in the shoulder socket, because the arms are designed to move to have a lot of range of motion. And that is why we need to train both mobility and stability in the shoulder. Today, I want to be specific, just so that when you are doing any types of upper body exercise, your neck and your shoulder will be as easy as possible. Look at the ball of the arm bone here. Arm bone up a little bit and back a little bit. I know you can't see anything in the camera because the movement is that small. Right? Now, if I am magnifying this movement, it will look like this. Up, back. Okay. Up, back. But we want to do the mini version of this. Let's just say up two millimeter and back two millimeter. Okay, I'll show you with my left shoulder. Up two millimeter and back two millimeter. I'll show you sideways. Up and back. That's it. Up and back. And I will show you what it looks like in the back. Look at my right shoulder. I'm going up and I'm going back. My scapula hardly moves. I'm going to show you both shoulders now. Up, back. Again. Up, back. Relax. Up. Back. Relax. Up. Back. Relax. Now, how do you know that these arm bones are being set in a better and more congruent position before it starts moving is you do a compare. First, you do it without the up and back. And then with the up and back, and when you feel a change of the tonality in this part of your, your neck and your shoulder, means when you start to feel easy during the work, that means your arm bones are in a better position. I'm going to show you an example here. I will raise my arms. Arm bones up a little bit, back a little bit, lift, and lower. Arm bones up a little bit, back a little bit, lift, and lower. Arm bones up a little bit, back a little bit, and lift. If that doesn't ease up tension, try up a little bit more and back a little bit more. There are a few things I want you to do here for your shoulder health. If your head is forward ahead of your shoulders, you need to check out the forward head posture playlist to get your head more on top of your spine. Now to have an optimal function shoulder, and shoulder alignment, you need to first look at conditioning your upper back, your upper spine, right? Try to move them, okay? I do have a shoulder injury uh, rehab playlist. I have exercises there for the shoulders. 
And if you have any neck issues, there is uh, a neck pain therapy playlist. Also look at that. Training the shoulders, you have to consider this region of your body. Your spine, your shoulders, your neck, in some cases, your jaw. All right, that's it for today. I hope uh, you have learned something and I wish you all the best in your upper body training. See you next time. Bye.